Okay. Uh, so this is a tutorial that has been requested uh, three days ago by eParagraphics. He want to make his dash studio clothing into a bitmap inside 64 and iClone. You have to uh, remember one thing that dash studio clothing and 64 clothing works very differently because dash studio have a D force where you can you know simulate. It takes a whole lot of time. I know. So, but they have a very smooth iterations and result after the simulation. Whereas CC4 kind of work like um, Unreal Engine, where you can paint your weight map on your cloth and then you just do it on real time. So yeah, I already created a character for this tutorial. So I'm not gonna go with the hassle that what to do and what not to do. So yeah, there you go. And already imported the character with the proper um, maps and everything. Uh, if you are wondering how do you get a good looking Dash Studio model inside CC4, you can follow my tutorial I did regarding it. That might uh, help you a lot. And yeah, so let's begin. You need a software to make a weight map. I mean, people can use Blender or any other software that supports it. But one of my friend told me this is a good one and shortcuts and this is called 3D Coat. So what I'm gonna do, export this specific skirt as an OBJ, selected item, export. I already did. Uh, you go inside and new. Paint UV map to mesh and per pixel. Click over there, the skirt. Okay, and there you go. I don't need the uh, uh, texture over here. I just need the mesh. So you will get this balls. Uh, then you just place it over here. And uh, you have to remember one thing that um, you have to align it properly so that you can get a proper width map. I'm going to put it over here because if I go beyond, I'm not gonna get a proper one. Or that's how I'm doing it. After you're done, click it. There you go. Your wet map already has been created. Okay. So then what you need to do, you just export OBJ and texture. I'm using 3 ds Max 27 physics material over here. Uh, just use the albedo. Uh, you just uh, name it. I name it skirt, then export, okay, then what you do, you go over here, you go to your active physics, and then you click on your wet map, then you click it, then you import it, that's how it works, okay, so after that, uh, oh, before that you need to remember one thing, in some meshes there are more than two materials so you need to know where is the skirt and where is the belt so if you do on the belt it might look very weird and the skirt will be static so without uh, the um, um, the weight map it was like this very weird very static yeah like usual that's what was the problem to begin with, I'm going to reset it, and um, it's applied, always remember, soft cross simulation, rigid body, then you go to your walk animation, there you go, very silky and smooth. Uh, you might get a uh, very uh, weird looking pokes whenever she walks. What you need to do, what I did, and that is how it's supposed to be. Go to your collision shape and then you work on your collision. I already did in this model, the collisions that, uh, yeah, to save up some time. And when you're done, we just do this. So you can, as you can see, there are some weird um, artifacts. You do that 
get back again and just doing because I'm doing it in real time. If you go by frame, things will be, yeah. When you do that, go back again, slowly. Yeah, this is how it is. Everything is gonna be very smooth. After when you're done, you just bake your animation. Then you stop simulation over here and things will be very smooth. So I know this is a very small tutorial. I just wanted to release it as soon as possible uh, because I will be busy a few more days ahead. So yeah, if you have any question, please do comment and let me know. Whenever I get back, I'm gonna give it a try and see what I can do for you guys and solve any kind of problems. Uh, there will be a bunch of tutorials coming as well as some small cinematics and I'm gonna do some breakthrough as well as Unreal Engine is going to be included in this as well. Or if I have time to learn Blender, maybe I'm gonna try Blender as well. So yeah, I hope this helps to anyone beside um, uh, the person who requested. And yeah, that's all for now and best wishes.